Kaylin Richard, CBS 17 News. Brian, this is what I was telling you about earlier. Yeah. I got a little bit of surprise for you okay. guys at home. Now I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Okay, after the six o'clock newscast last night in the middle of recording promos, I brought a big surprise to our evening anchor, Cornelia Nicholson. Take a look. And coming up right now, we have the story of two young journalists who just so happened to find. Man, she's a billion too, man. That ladder, he got him a billion. He got him a whole turkey. That glider gonna be warm at night, man. He ain't never gonna be cold at night, man. Now we have the story of two young journalists who just so happen to find love in the same industry. Local 3's Riley Nagel joins us in the studio with a special report. That is right, Cornelia. I do have a very special report uh, for people at home who maybe don't know. Cornelia and I met in news back in Montana at our news station almost four years ago. And uh, when I first met you, I uh, was very drawn to you. And you have such an amazing personality and you're so bright and you always light up the room when you come in and make everyone laugh. See, a brother, we, brother ain't gonna do all this, man. Brother, we can't do this, man. <laughs> Brother, we ain't doing it. We ain't do this for a white girl, man. We can't do this for no black girl, man. The dynamic is different, man. She a bad wench, though. And you have such an amazing personality, and you're so bright, and you always light up the room when you come in and make everyone laugh, and you're incredibly talented especially in news. I think anyone who watches you knows that. And uh, you're one of the reasons, or pretty much the main reason I'm still in news today. And you're always pushing me to be better and in news and in other aspects of my life. And I thought it'd be fitting to ask you this question here, since we met in news, Cornelia Nicholson. <laughs> Cry. Will you split this Big Mac with me? Will you split this steak and cheese with me? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Would you marry me? I'm gonna cry, yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> I gotta put it on? Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of shaking. <laughs> Look at him fetishizing her, man. He don't really want her. This is just a fetish, man. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Come here. <laughs> All right. Well, they don't call me the romance There's reporter for nothing. Something in the air. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I was gonna get you. I, I get a little emotional sometimes. Everyone. So she had while. no idea. No. Oh, she had some hints. Well, she yeah. had some uh, ideas on when it was gonna happen. But not like recording. Yeah, she so. didn't. She didn't know. I love that, that was because she started reading the, the teleprompter and like. You could see her kind of like laughing. Like, wait a like, minute. What's going on here? Yeah. So I got her. I got her with a nice little surprise. High five, man. Good job. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Goddamn colonizer, man. What you think about that colonizer, man? Uh, he's gay. <laughs> Damn. Um, as Freak says, us gliders have been browbeaten and softened for decades now. Not to mention chemicals in our food. The pollution, which messes. <laughs> he blaming it on chemicals in the food, man. Oh, you, you're done. You glad you're done, man. <laughs> you glad you're done. You blaming this shit on chemicals in the food, man. 
Glad as God, man. Shout out to Run DAC, man. You gifted a new Ock Nation news. You glad as a something else, man. Blaming the state of affairs on chemicals in the food, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. He so. For a Fulton County commissioner is claiming sexual harassment. Uh, he's he's so he's so overcompensating his gayness, uh, where it's even spilling over to the fact that he wants to also show that he's not racist. You think you don't think that guy was really in love with that girl? No, man. There's no way that guy is not gay. There's no way. Really, Dude, did you hear him? I just picked up ladder, man. I I didn't get gay. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't get that. I didn't I didn't oh. pick up gay vibes. I, I I gotta I guess I gotta look at it again. I didn't pick up gay vibes. I picked uh, up. Go back and hear him again. He's lighter. he is. Yeah, he's completely uh, gay, and also the fact that I think he's trying to hide his gayness so much that he's like, look at me. I not only do I like women, I love black women. That's press what it came across you, to me as. Press one if you think that guy was a homo. <laughs> press press one if you think that news anchor was a homo. I don't know, man. I, I didn't pick it up. I didn't it never even crossed my mind. Oh wow. Damn. I'm telling you, man, listen to it again. He, he's zesty oh, wow. as hell. How did you not pick that up? It's crazy. No, 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 no. I, I just, I didn't, I, 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 it never even crossed my mind. Let me see, man. Let me look at it one more time, man. Brian, this is what I was telling you about earlier. Yeah. I got a little bit of surprise for you guys okay. at home. I'm, now I'm looking forward to seeing this. Okay. After the six o'clock newscast last night in the middle of recording promos, he might just be effeminate, man. Oh, he might just, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not getting gay yet. Oh, let me see. Let me see. I don't get gay. I brought a big surprise to our evening anchor, Cornelia Nicholson. Take a look. And coming up right now, we have the story of two young journalists who just so happen to find love in the same industry. Local 3's Riley Nagel joins us in the studio with a special report. That is right, Cornelia. I do have a very special report uh, for People at home who maybe don't know, Cornelia and I met. Nah, man, this dude ain't gay, man. I, I, I'm not getting it, man. I, I, man, look, I guarantee you, and they're honey. He, he, he probably, he probably is like no pressure. We can sleep in separate beds. It's okay. We can take our time. Guarantee you. Well, you're acting like he's never fucked her before. Like, well, you, you think they haven't had sex before? I mean, it might have, but, dude, I'm, I, I just can't believe you don't see it. You, you don't, you don't, see, you don't hear that twang in his, nah, in his I speech. I don't hear it. I'm trying to. I'm usually good with this stuff, man. I'm usually good with the um, gator, man. I don't have like great. Look at the kiss. Like Look at the kiss. The kiss was like. Maybe you want to keep it respectful on the, on the chill met in news back in Montana at our news station almost four years ago. And uh, when I first met you, I uh, was very drawn to you. And you have such an amazing personality and you're so bright and you always light up the room when you come in and make everyone laugh. Uh -oh. And you're incredibly talented, uh -oh. especially in news. I think anyone- Iconic, man. Is, is this guy a homo iconic? Um, it it takes one to know one, so maybe. <laughs> oh wow! Damn, shots fired! Shots fired! Damn. I'm just kidding. Uh, I think okay. he's, he's just so yes. He's just so. <laughs> I don't know if he's gay. Shit. I'm just kidding. Zing. I don't think he's gay. He's just you know, I, Yeah, I don't get the gayness. I get soy boy. Yeah, but. I'm not getting like faggot and shit like that. No, I, I, it's not. It's not saying that. Like she a sister, man. She wouldn't, man. Sister, sister, though, can't be attracted to that, man. Sister gotta have some edge, man. He's edgy because he like black she. Girl. 
She knows he's gay. She knows, she knows he's it. Gay? Yeah, yeah. But yes, he's giving the vibe that on the honeymoon night he would be. Uh, I would sleep on on the floor. <laughs> he sleep on the mattress, and then think about it if you want me to <laughs> to get over you, get on top of you. Wow. I mean, when she was like, "Ah, oh, I think I'm gonna cry." I mean, it was so cliche. You could just tell she ain't crying. She's like, "Ah, oh, shit, man. All right, like I'm gonna cry." Yeah, right. I think they're in love, or I think yeah, they love each other, but it's just soft. I don't think he's gay at all. Mm, I ain't get gay, but hey, man. Hot Fire says, that glider reporter is finished. Have fun being married to a son sister. <laughs> He'll be worshiping her and dealing with her self-hatred until she divorces him and takes his kids and half his shit. In two know. years, in two years, act this uh, son sister will um, throw accusations like um, Carrie Champion. Uh, put put a poll up. Put a poll up. That's unnecessary. That's unnecessary. He's gay. He's not gay. He's not important. He's soft. Y'all, um, I just didn't get that. I, I'm sorry, man. I didn't. I'm looking for that, man. Let me see. Is this? Let me let me see something, man. Is this? Is this news anchor? <laughs> All the shit he's saying, he's acting like she's her, her best friend. He never said once, like, you're beautiful. And he's like, I love your personality. You're this and that. He ain't talking about anything about how attractive she is, how attractive he was to her when he first saw him. I mean, it's just all like. Yeah, I did notice that part. But maybe he's just, maybe he's just like a, he, he, it's kind of like when we talk about the um, eulogies that some people give to different than Gladys. Like Gladys, he maybe he sees other things about her other than that. And maybe he, he, that goes without saying. Yeah, he does. He sees other things about her other than that because he's not attracted to her because he's gay. <laughs> Damn, man. You coming in hot, man. Anyone who watches you knows that. And uh, you're one of the reasons, or pretty much the main reason I'm still in news today and you're always pushing me to be better and in news and in other aspects of my life. And I thought it'd be fitting to ask you this question here since we met in news. Cornelia Nicholson. You're not clean enough to be gay. See, gay dudes wouldn't have that stubble. They, gay dudes be polished. He's kind of raggedy and janky. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's, gay dudes, act, yeah this yeah. is almost like a, a Cassidy Campbell uh, skit. <laughs> if you guys know Cassidy Campbell, no, he's like a skit. Uh, he's like a YouTube comedian. Okay, I didn't know. Um, I gotta look him up, but um, yeah, man, I, I'm not getting gay. Man. Um, salute to Doug G, man. Doug G says, Hi, I, that report is definitely from Motown. <laughs> Oh shit, man. Doug G seeing it too. I don't see it, man. I don't see I just see a guy that is in love with a son sister, man. A big healthy um portly son sister, man. Is that why y'all saying that's some good loving, man? Listen, man, that, a, a big old woman like that, man, that's some good loving, man. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Would you marry me? I'm gonna cry, yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. I gotta put it on? Yeah. Okay. He's like, do I have to put it on? Isn't this good enough? Man, this dude looks like Beavis and Butthead combined. Right, Gay dudes be clean, man. They be polished up. They don't be like, nah, man. Can't do it. I think like it's just awkward. Yeah, it's just awkward. Maybe yeah. soy. 
soy uh, some kind of a soy boy, but not gay. Yeah, man, y'all, y'all did wrong, man. The former chief of staff for a Fulton County commissioner is claiming sexual harassment and wrongful termination. In a lawsuit, Calvin Brock accuses uh, Fulton County's vice chairwoman of planting tracking devices in two of his cars to monitor his every move. Fox Lives Angel. What's wrong with these sister politicians, man? What's wrong with them, man? Is uh, Fulton County's vice chairwoman of planting tracking devices in two of his cars to monitor his every move. Fox Lives Angelique Crafter took a closer look at the allegations. Calvin Brock says he was initially hired by Commissioner Natalie Hall as a community relations manager, but he said he was promoted to chief of staff. He says things started going awry when he says the commissioner forced him into a romantic relationship. Hit the like button, hit the like button, man. What's wrong with these sisters in Fulton County forcing these men into these romantic relationships, man? They use their power to get dick, man. That's a, that's a common thing with Sun Sisters. When they get some power, they use it to get goddamn dick. My name is Natalie Hall. And I am your commissioner for Fulton County District 4. Fulton County Vice Chairwoman and 4th District Commissioner.